Assalamu alaikum viewers, welcome to my channel Genome Wide Study. If you are new on my channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon, so you will get the notification of all the new videos. In this video, we will discuss about the submission of our CDS or protein sequences of characterized gene in NCBI and getting the gene extraction number of our characterized gene. For example, we are working on a gene in a crop or in a bacteria or whatever your goal is, which is responsible for a specific function. So first, we have cloned that gene and then we have sequenced it. After that, we have done different type of experiments to confirm its function experimentally then after the confirmation of its function through different type of experiments then we want to submit its cds or protein sequence in in, in ncbi to show that this gene has been characterized through this function and it is its specific function so how to submit our sequence gene and uh, gene sequence Let's start. So first we need to prepare two files. One is our sequence file. So this is my sequence file and this is my this is the sequence of my gene that I have cloned and characterized its function through different experiments. So you must arrange it when you do the sequencing. So you use forward primary sequencing and reverse primary sequencing. Then you need to uh, remove that uh, forward uh, reverse primers and also other uh, unwanted uh, uh, sequences or base pairs or bases. And then you need to get the consensus of conserved or the pure sequence of this gene. How you can get this or how you can do these uh, uh, consensus uh, sequence or the how to merge these uh, primer uh, forward primer sequencing result and reverse primer sequencing results I have already made the video the link of that video is present in the description of this video and you can also see here in this uh, card so you can also find it so first you when you need it so first uh, at the bow of the uh, sequence, write greater than and then write the name that you want to give this uh, gene or this sequence. So I want to give it a uh, name GM is glycine max and this is a mat 2 and then space and parenthesis and uh, write the uh, organism name as I have already made it as you can see here this is a gene name and this is the organism name and after writing and close the parenthesis then give the space remember that give a space not the tab and then write its function that what is its function is so my gene function is it is convert the melonial glucoside isoflavonoid glucoside into melonial glucoside it, and it is a melonial transferase after this so you need another file which is the feature file of that uh, gene how you can prepare it uh, it needs first at uh, at first row you write greater than and uh, then here this is the greater than a right feature and then press the tab tab and then write name gmmat that gene name and then in the next row in the first column or first less than and then it's a start in which base pair it is started so it is started from one that i am submitted the sequence so it's a start from 1 
one sequence uh, or base pair number one from here this it start from here so and i give it a one so if you are right here maybe uh, i giving the example g g g g so it is uh, so it, it your gene sequence or gene uh, base pair is started from which uh, one two three four five this is a six number so you can write here six but in my case it is started from one so here you write one one and then press the tab then greater than and how many sequences or how many base pair it has remember that you don't count the stop codon without stop codon how many base pair it has so my gene has 150 uh, 1533 base pair and then press the tab and then it is gene yes gene and then go to the next uh, row and press one tab then second tab and then third tab when you press the third and then four four times you press the tab sorry one two three when you press the th three tab tab then write its uh, gene or uh, you can press cds or gene and then another one then tab and write the name of that gene and then in a uh, third row write that sign less than one and then tab and then greater than and then how many base pairs and then tab and then cds it's because this gene the, this is my cds sequence not the genomic sequence or transcript sequence it is my cds sequence so i write here cds sequence and then uh, press enter and go to the fourth row and press three times tab and then write that it's uh, that you have characterized it and it is the product yes it is the product so and then wha what is its function so it is if7 mat s of 11 7 o glucoside melonyl transferase so in this way you can make the feature table of this gene after preparing these two tables then you can go to the uh, google or any search engine right how to submit sequence in ncbi and then open this first link open it and then first you need to sign it here here you need to sign it i am already signed it and then go to click on bank it bank it this is a tool through which we can submit our genes and here this is so that what type of sequence data you have in my sequence data is not listed here that uh, it is a eukaryotic <coughs> that is a glycine max and it is a mrna or cds sequence so i click here so you can also click if you have any of there so you can click on this but my gene is from crop that is eukaryote and it is uh, like the genomic DNA or mRNA so I click here and then click on start then after that then second uh, window appears and click on start bank it submission this will discard your incomplete submission so okay I have already tried it and then I have already my data so the pair here here you can give your all details as i have given here and then you can continue so it appears here here you can write the author that who are the submitter of this how uh, to uh, sequence and uh, this uh, is uh, this gene sequence is belong to my this uh, paper that I of lemon melonial co as a transferred GMMAT2 is involved in adulation of soybean by modifying synthesis and 
equation of isoflavone. So these are the list of authors. So you can put a main author that is phosphate mine, and other is my supervisor Chetjo. So here I put their name, first name. So is Muhammad. In the middle name you can write only initial like Z, Zulfikar, and here you can write Ahmad. Yeah, and then you can if you another so I want to another that uh, and here is Chow and here is if it is unpublished so you can click here if it is in press so you can click here in press and then write the other my paper is published so I click in published and then give all the information so here you can uh, give the detail that uh, title and here is the journal title that year volume and here is the journal is um, journal of experimental botany and here is the year volume issue pro and pages number or simply you can give that permit id that you can get uh, here this is the permit ID or simply you can give this ID copy and paste here and then you can go to continue then here he asks about the that which method you have used for sequencing so we use Sangha radioxy sequencing and uh, here is the assembled sequence uh, two or more sequence reels so i have used the for forward and reverse primer then press continue so it will guide you another window so here is the that when may we release your sequence if you want that of uh, auto processing immediately it will release or any you want to give the dates and then here is the molecule type like if uh, it is that the genomic DNA or that uh, mRNA or CD, cDNA or which type of this it is so you can select any one of these and this is a linear or that the circular so it is selected as a genomic RNA molecule type that select the type of molecule that was isolated and sequenced and then it is linear uh, are you submitting the complete sequence of an organal genome? Uh, no, it's not the complete sequence of that organal or genome. It is the only the sequence of one uh, gene. So here uh, we can. So here we can only copy paste or choose the file to upload that our sequence. That is, uh, this is our sequence uh, file. So here we have uploaded it and then press continue. Then it will appear in the same that window and give you this message that you have uploaded only one uh, sequence but you can also upload many sequence. Now we have only one sequence so it is okay. Press again. Uh, continue. Then here it asks about the organism. So right here let's see next and press continue and again press continue to give you here the sequence id this gm m82 and let's see max if you have uh, any error in your sequence then maybe it give you uh, some uh, ask you again submit to correct the sequence and correct it body our sequence is right so it's okay and here is that you are submitted directly you are sub they are submitted or someone else is submitted because this is my gene i have sequenced it as why i am so can uh, submit it so here is original if you someone else uh, submitting so they can select third party here you can uh, also give some options if uh, applicable on your sequence like here if it is mitochondrial or plastid uh, uh, or like this type of uh, uh, gene but my gene didn't belong to uh, 
uh, any of these so I didn't select or I select nothing and simply press continue yeah he is asking about that provide feature annotation for your submission using one of the option below that is the five here we can uh, select this add features by completing input form that we have already completed I, I have shown you in the start of the uh, video and uh, you can also check that uh, by clicking here there for a few feature table how you can make it it will also guide you that how you can make that file so here here is the guidelines that line one column one you can write this column two column three in line two column four five like this and here is the example of that this one so the, i didn't need any other thing so i didn't add this one if you have more than one sequence so you can also add that separate them by name it so here you can also choose that file feature file and then upload it so after uploading your feature file so it will give you uh, the below some this type of uh, uh, your information gene information so you can check it and then go to continue so here is the some um, you give it the preview of your submission here is the email this uh, submission will be sent to the following email that information about related to this uh, submission they will send this uh, email that you have provided and there are some other uh, information and this is uh, how your gene uh, submission looks like uh, like this so here is the name base pair rnrg linear and here is the the definition of this how, how it function is if you need some keywords also this is organism and some other this is this is published in general now I have a bot me and here is authors direct submission this is the title of all the information you have provided so it come here this is the sequence this is a protein sequence made this is the uh, your CDS sequence all the information comes here and then you need to click here is finish submission when you click on the finish submission so after submit a link will come on your registered email that you have given here so in which it was described that we will launch the accession number to your sequence after 22 days because they will uh, yes, if some investigation or check the, all the data and then they will give you the if it is correct then they will give you the accession number or more or less it may be 22 days or more or less if you are all submitted information uh, and sequences correct if there was something wrong in the data they will inform you through that registered email so in this way we can submit our sequenced or characterized gene sequence in NCBI data and get the accession number of our gene hopefully it will help you if you have any question query please let me know thank you Thanks.